Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, is Stadia coming to an end? AMD's new smartphone GPU crushes the A14. Why Intel's new GPU doesn't support AMD? Nvidia and AMD should be worried about this. More GPUs incoming and the 6700 XT gets teased with release timing. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, is Google Stadia coming to an end? That's the question as Google just announced in a blog post that they're halting further investment into their Stadia games and entertainment division. That's basically their team that was set to develop first party games for the streaming service. In the wake of this, the head of that division, Jade Raymond, has left the company. Now, Google claims that they're still investing in the platform, but of course they're known for slowly letting projects die when they don't work out. I mean, maybe that isn't the case here. They did just discuss the recent success of Cyberpunk 2077 on the platform, but Google has killed a ton of projects over the years. So I'd say this isn't a good sign for the future of Stadia. But first, we all know data drives everything. So why not learn from the platform that's made to build your data analytical skills? DataCamp, the online learning tool that really makes it easy to learn data. And that's great because these skills are necessary regardless of your industry. They do this by using interactive courses while also letting you move at your own pace. Not only that, but you don't need any kind of special software. You can do everything in your browser. From Python to SQL and more, DataCamp gives you the skills you need to stand out in your career. Oh, and did I mention you don't need a credit card to sign up? In fact, when you use my link in the description, the first chapter in every course is free. So don't wait, invest in yourself by visiting DataCamp in the description below. Next up for today, if you aren't one to keep up with the smartphone market, you may have missed a team up between Samsung and AMD to produce a new smartphone chip. Well, according to a new report from IT Home, an unnamed Exynos processor with a Radeon GPU was allegedly found on GFX Bench. And as you can see, if this is correct, AMD's RDNA architecture completely obliterates the current champ, that is, Apple's A14 Bionic chip. As for the CPU, Samsung's Exynos 2100 is rumored to still be behind the Snapdragon 888, so the company clearly has a ways to go there. But when it comes to the GPU, Apple may need to watch out. And next up for today, we have a really important update on Intel's first desktop GPU, DG1. For those who saw my recent story on it, you know that the GPU is only supported on Intel systems, which obviously has us a bit worried for the future of their discrete GPUs. Well, in a new tweet by Cybercat2077, we now know why the GPU has this limitation. As you can see, he claims the card doesn't have an EEPROM chip, which means the BIOS has to be stored on the motherboard. As he points out, Intel's data center GPU does have it. The reason DG1 doesn't is likely because it was originally made for notebooks and Intel didn't retrofit one on their desktop variant. Still, it is odd that Intel hasn't addressed the concern. You would think they'd make it clear that future gaming cards will be supported on AMD CPUs as well, but they're pretty silent. Either way, it does look like this is why, but I guess we shall see what Intel does in the future. Next up, AMD and Nvidia may need to be a bit worried, as a competitor just announced their first 7 nanometer based GPU that could actually be a challenge. The company is called Tianshu Zixin, and their new GPU, Big Island, can reportedly get up to 147 teraflops of FP16 compute. The new HPC GPU is impressive, as it comes with a whopping 24 billion transistors. Of course, that's less than half of Nvidia's newest A100 GPU, but it's certainly a start. With that said, the company isn't saying much else on performance. Hopefully we'll see something soon, though of course this isn't a gaming GPU or anything like that. Still, it's very much important for the market. Either way, both AMD and Nvidia had better step up their game, as growing competition could soon pose a problem time, as always, will tell. Next up for today, I finally have some good news when it comes to GPU stock, specifically AMD's RX 6000 GPUs. For those who don't know, when AMD releases a new GPU, they typically have one run of their reference cards and end it to focus on AIB cards. Luckily, when it comes to their RX 6000 GPUs, AMD claimed that they weren't going to stop production. 
That's great because they're one of the only places to get the cards at MSRP when they're available. Well, in a new interview with Babel Tech Reviews, Senior Director at AMD's Radeon division, Rich Corpus, confirmed that new reference cards will be available in the first quarter of this year. Now, obviously that can be later in the quarter, but that's better than what it will likely be before prices return to normal. At the end of the day, make sure to subscribe to learn when AMD has new stock available. And lastly for today, it looks like we're finally starting to get a bit more information on AMD's upcoming RX 6700 XT. This time, it comes from Hardware Lux's editor Andreas Schilling. And as you can see, he effectively confirms the rumored 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory that's been going around for a little while now. Not only that, but he gave us an idea of the performance AMD plans to aim for, which is 1440p gaming. Next, he even teased the logo for the 6700 XT, to which this obviously confirms the name, though it definitely isn't a surprise. Lastly, he shared the timing of the release as being either the first half or first quarter of this year. And of course, that can be a little ways off, but I think the real question is whether or not they'll actually be available at launch. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's newest RX 6700 XT or are you just wanting a card that you can buy? Let me know down in the comments below and if you liked the video, please subscribe and as always, have a great day!